everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ tutorials. This is the start of my expert tutorial series where I run you through the Visustella MZ plugins alongside a bunch of advanced techniques. To start off, we're going to install a bunch of Visustella MZ programs because I do not see any tutorial on YouTube that goes over these plugins. Firstly, we're going to get these into our game. I already have a tab ready on my file explorer. It's in this 8 Waves collection, which I spent $100 on. Trust me, it's worth it. And what we're going to do is select all of these plugins. We'll need them each for future plugins under the same developer. Credit goes to Visucella MZ's developers. They have done a very good job with making these. What we're going to do is copy these. You can, you can click on this button if you're using Windows 11. Very handy. Now what we're going to do is go into a game. In this, I've decided to set up a new project just for this. I have it in documents, RMMZ, and it's Project Super Smash. Now, we do the same thing like you would treat other plugins. We go to JS and then go to Plugins. And we're going to paste them. You can click this button if you're using Windows 11. And we have them all installed. Excellent! Now we can close our file explorer now, and now let's get into our game. Open up RPG Maker MZ. I'm using the Steam version for this. Alright, now we're in. Now let's get our plugin installed. Or our plugins in this case. Let's open the plugin manager by clicking on the puzzle piece. Click this. And what we're going to do is start with the core engine. You'll see why in a second. If you want to organize your plugins, you could use like a blank plugin slot or something like this. Make sure to turn it off so it doesn't cause any bug issues. Anyway, now it's time to install the first tier of plugins. As you can see, each each of these Visustella plugins has a tiering. It ranges from 0 to 5. A number a tier that looks like this say 0 should always be above 1, and 1 should be above 2, and so on. Now we're going to repeat this process for each of the other plugins. This might take a bit. Events move. Items equip. Main menu. Nexus message. Then we have options. There we go. And next we have save. And finally, skill states. Each of these plugins does something huge in their own right. Now, we're going to take a look at one of these plugins and just look at the help section. Some plugins have what is known as note tags that you put into the note tag or note slot of very specific things. Now, uh, if I could just, uh, ah, there it is. Here's one. Now, let's take this one for instance. You would copy you would you would copy this note tag and then put it in whatever note tag you think it should go in. Usually it displays it in the plugin itself. For instance, these can all go in skill note tags. We're not going to do that in this episode. Anyway, we're going to open up this game and let's see how much different it looks. Now, as you probably noticed, the game started immediately, as opposed to starting with the title screen. That's an option with the plugin itself. Now, some plugins may drastically change how things are played. For instance, I can now move diagonally. You cannot normally do that with some plugins. Now, you can also see the menu looks way different. That's part of the main menu plugin. You can always adjust the settings to get what you want. Anyway, I'll close this for now. Many, many possible things can await you. Many, make sure you look into a plugin, see what it does, and you could always check the plugin parameters and read the information provided and see what you could do. And even some plugins will allow you to use JavaScript, which will make your life a whole lot easier if you know how to use JavaScript. Anyway, I'm not asking you I'm not 
I'm not suggesting you learn JavaScript, but you should probably do so anyway, just to learn how this stuff works. Anyway, JavaScript is not mandatory. You can you can do all this plugin stuff all without JavaScript knowledge. Anyway, let me close this. And that'll be it for this tutorial for now. I'll be back in a future episode where we go deeper into these plugins. See you guys for now. Happy learning.